a methodology for how we've tried to uh, work our QC over the last uh, couple of years or with um, kind of some of the profiles we've discovered and kind of add simplification. What we're going to try and do is look at uh, four profiles, just four, that effectively we roast almost 100% of our samples on. With this, we start in the middle, okay? And you'll see that uh, to the right-hand side, we have labeled discovery and known sample. Discovery is one route. It's effectively when you don't know what a coffee is, a very simple flow diagram to arrive at a finished roast, the ones that we tend to find uh, most. So to take you through that, we would start at the OSCE washed standard roast. Today's actually the roast, which we generally roast about 70% of our samples at. It's the one we start with when we don't have more information for the coffee. That's where we start, standard roast. If you increase body, uh, or if you need to increase body or you're missing complexity or uh, sweetness, we then recommend trying one of either the natural standard or the filter roast. And that again is down to fundamentally the intuition of does that coffee need a longer roast if it's effectively the natural? And again, I'm gonna go into detail on these. Or a mid middle roast, one that we actually use for the office filter coffee quite often. Or conversely, do you need to increase acidity? Is it missing pop? Is it missing that sort of wow factor? Um, that a lot of coffees need. That's our discovery route. The other is where you know what a coffee is. So if you know that a coffee has a certain process, you know where it's from in very, very broad terms, we then give you a flow diagram to, to effectively go straight through to what might be the likely best roast for that coffee. Now, fundamentally, natural standard across filter roast, across wash standard, across standard sample roast, they effectively um, decrease in length and increase in heat and heat transfer as you go across. 